What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the Pixel Experience Plus ROM and here I have not set up the ROM completely but I'll show you the details of this ROM, what features are there and stuff and here if you want to install the ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro click on the card right there, I have showed how to flash a ROM and I'll also link a guide for changing the custom ROMs on the Redmi Note 10 Pro which is a kind of like weird way right now, it is in that state but as of now you don't have any other options you will be able to figure out what i'm talking about over here if you see that how to change rom on the redmi note 10 pro right now in from the description but definitely you can flash this rom in the same way what i have showed in the ROS flashing guide video on the redmi note 10 pro you can check that card right there or you can check out the description too for that again and in the android version this is how it looks in the like android version section of course it is based on android 11 the experience over here is very smooth in my personal opinion and the security patch over here is latest of april 5th 2021 the stock kernel is per g kernel and here is a build number over here it says 24th april 2021 build for suite over here 11.0 and pixel experience plus official rom over here now in the system panel let me show you there is a system updater and you can check for updates from here which is a good thing and the maintainer's name over here is zinadin zidan he has done an amazing job to develop this ROM and in my opinion Pixel Experience Plus and ROS is gonna be one of the best custom ROMs for the Redmi Note 10 Pro in the future too in my personal opinion. And you have the donate section, website and news options over here. Let me go back, we have the developer option because I have enabled that. But other than that in the status bar settings we have the network traffic monitor and we have the system icons from here. We have the headset, bluetooth etc icon enabling option from here. Let me go back, we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar, then we have the clock position changing option, you can also change it to right or left or center, then we have the show seconds, AM, PM style changing option, then if we scroll down we have the battery status style changing option, then we have the battery percentage changing option, you can have it next to the icon and also there is the brightness slider option, you can have this show always option if you want to, auto brightness option is here, also there is the brightness control, so you can adjust the brightness just by sliding a finger on the status bar. This is very cool that this feature is there. Now there is also some other options like the quick pull down and stuff. You can have it on right left over here and we have the row and column number customization. Let me go back now inside buttons. We have the system navigations option and if you go into the settings of it, you will see there is the edge touch area option and gesture indicator option. But there is an option to actually change this like size of this build bar. So which is weird and as you can see, you can adjust the gesture area. Let me go back. There is a two button and three button navigation. Also, you can like invert their layout if you want to from these settings. Then we have the power menu customization. Here we have the advanced reboot and let me show you this is how the power menu looks like. And if you tap restart, this is how it looks and you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from this section. Then we have the sensitive content and stuff. Let me go back. We have the end call, then the long press power button toggle torch. This feature should work fine and we have the wake device answer call and the other customizations. Let me go back, we have the gestures and from here we also have this swipe to screenshot and let me show you this is how it looks like. There is only the share and edit option, no delete option or the long screenshot option over here. We have the quickly open camera, then the power menu customization. Again, we have the advanced reboot and stuff over there and we have the default keyboard as Gboard. Now let me show you the home screen. This is how it looks and there is a stock camera over here, let me show you. So this is the same stock camera that you get in Arrow OS 2 and very old kind of Google camera, I don't like it. And if you want to install ANX camera on this ROM, you can click on the card right there. And here, as you can see, let me switch the front camera and stuff. So yeah, front camera is working, it looks like. So that is great. Let me go back from here. And talking about the stock launcher again, of course, this is a pixel launcher and in the settings, you can disable the suggestions. And there is no option to actually like double tap anywhere in the home screen, but of course there is double tap to sleep on the status bar. Talking about the fingerprint scanner speed, let me show you. As you can see, I'm tapping the fingerprint scanner and as soon as I do that, it unlocks the device. Let me show you one more time. So yeah, the fingerprint scanner speed is fairly fast, no issues that I have had with the fingerprint scanner speed. To the left of the home screen, we should get the Google's Discover page. Okay, so it has appeared right now and as you can see it is working fine and a very smooth experience it is giving me and if you swipe up as you can see there is the app drawer you can search for any particular app swiping down gets you to the notification or the quick settings panel this is how the quick setting panel looks like and if you 
click on edit there are multiple toggle options and you can see how many toggles are there so here i have added a couple of toggles night light should be working fine as you can see and then we have the dark theme and of course dark theme should work fine here yes and then if you go here we have the screen recording option you can have the device audio and the microphone audio recording at the same time over here with this rom and heads up you can disable and we have the nearby share option hotspot option then the volume panel is also there so as you can see the volume panel looks like this you can expand it just like this and we have the data saver then we have the always on display option so yes you can turn on always on display and this is just like always on display always it's not like 10 seconds always on display like me why now in the settings panel this is how it looks like and in the battery settings here is how it should look we have the screen on time on the bottom then the full charge whenever you did that last and we have the optimized profiles this is for the battery kind of profile per app you can set it to performance or something if you want some apps to be set to performance mode and battery saver and stuff is there adaptive battery is there and if you tap here you don't see the full battery usage for that you have to tap on the three dots then you see the full battery usage and the fast charging and stuff everything is working fine but in the battery section there is no option to see the battery temperature or something like that and in the display settings we have the brightness level we have the dark theme and inside dark theme if you enable the dark theme let me show you it still does not show you the option for that raven black or pitch black kind of things and we have the night light options if you go back we have the adaptive or auto brightness too and if you scroll down we have the color calibration of the screen which is very good we have the rgb control of the screen and it is actually working as you can see i'll just cancel that let me go back we have the rotation settings you can set it to 180 degree option if you want to colors are set to boosted by default i will suggest leave it boosted because in adaptive it might look a little weird and in natural it looks a little bit desaturated so yeah in boosted mode it's fine now we have the display size screen saver option then inside lock screen we have the always show time and info for the always on display if you want to enable that you can double tap to sleep is there wake up on plug is there then we have the prevent accidental wake up option that is the pocket detection by the way and here we have the screen refresh rate so from here this is great that you can actually set the screen refresh rate to 60 hertz or 120 hertz and of course i left it on 120 hertz and the 120 hertz refresh rate is working flawlessly as you can see it's very very fast and snappy and double tap to wake option is there and it is working fine now inside styles and wallpapers this is how it looks like you can set a custom theme from here you can choose between these many fonts then these many icons then we have all these accent colors as you can see there are not much options like yellow and stuff is not there but yeah there are a couple of like options for the accent colors let me go back you can set any custom theme from here like the presets from here and there is the wallpaper options and as you can see there are the live wallpaper and stuff you can download them and apply them then inside grid option we have these like up to 4x4 and then this 5x5 grid i guess so yeah that's it for the display settings right now let me jump into the sound settings and here we have these vibrate for calls and stuff and by the way again this is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this and if you scroll down we have the dial pad tones the screen locking sound touch vibration and the vibrate to indicate call status so in call vibrations are there and faulty calling view wi-fi both should be working fine here inside me sound enhancer we have the audio didact and from here you can set it to youth edition or something and the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well should be good we have these many preset options if you're noticing and then we have also the hi-fi audio option now if you scroll down we have the security option here we have the fingerprint scanner option and if you see the settings here we have scramble layout lock screen timeout is there and the power button instantly locks option as i have already showed you the fingerprint scanner speed i'll set up the face unlock and show you if the face unlock is working fine so setting of face unlock is done so i'll just double tap over here to make the phone like sleep and double tap to wake and as you are noticing the face unlock speed is blazing fast i'm not tapping the fingerprint scanner by the way and let me show you and as you are noticing the face unlock speed is fairly fast no issues that i have had so far as you can see again blazing fast face unlocking speed no issues but one thing that i should mention here that there is no app lock option like the arrow is over here so i would still suggest if you want app lock and stuff definitely go for the arrow is but i would say there will be future updates and a lot of updates will make these roms a lot better experience in future in my opinion and even the custom recovery section is not that kind of stable experience as of right now so it is like it will take a lot more time for the redmi note 10 pro to get what every device has as of right now in my opinion here the safety net simply fails i'm not really sure why but with magic in arrow s i did manage to get the safety net working but here i am not really sure why the safety net fails out of the box but it might work with magic 
DRM info shows as L1 still, so that means you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p here without any issues as the DRM info still shows L1. So your DRM certification stays intact even if you flash a custom ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Talking about the IR blaster over here, yes it is working, let me show you up close. So yeah, as you are noticing, the IR blaster is working fine, no issues with the IR blaster. So that's when it guys about the Pixel Experience ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. In my personal opinion, Google Assistant and stuff, everything should be working fine here, no issues. And yeah, this is a very good experience that you are gonna get, but I would still prefer for a little bit more features. Just go for the ROS that will offer better features than this one in my opinion. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet, please share this video with your friends. If you want them to know about the Pixel Experience Plus ROM, on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.